Okay, YouTube people, I just bought another guitar from China. Yeah, I know, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm left-handed, so trying to find a decent left-handed guitar that doesn't want a maker who wants to screw me in the ass by charging me more money than uh, right-handed people um, is ridiculous. And since I suck at playing guitar, I refuse to pay a whole lot of money. In fact, there's three of my guitars. The one on the left is really actually a Gibson SG Standard. I love it. it sounds pretty cute. But the middle one is a is an, not a an, is an Ibanez um, copy, and I love it. I think it's just wicked. Wish I knew how to play it. This isn't a knockoff at all. It's actually a really neat green color. This actually I got this from, from Rondo Music. And this one is going to go right there. So let's see if we can open this up. doesn't look like there's any damage to the package. So let's see if I can use this I don't know, pumpkin chingadera and do some damage on the guitar. Let's do this here. Alright, let's just clean up my bed. Like that. So you're going to see what I see. If this is, whoops. If this is going to be decent. If this is going to be roughly $196 down the toilet. Nice black tape. Everything else usually came in. Uh, yellow tape. Oh my god. And I don't see any markings like customs opened it or anything. Which happened on the Ibanez. Or maybe they did. They just take over a little while. Alright, that side should be done. Or not. Alright. Yay. Shit everywhere. Alright. So we got here. Of course the awesome strappage. Some goodies. Tremolo. Uh, cord. Okay, it appears to be lefty. Got a lint. Should be a page for it. Alright, let's check out the uh Next first here. And this came in eight days, by the way, from China to Utah in eight days. That's pretty freaking decent. I was proud of that. All right. Well, it does say Fender. I'm pretty sure we can all guess it's not. Um, nice dark rosewood. I thought it was ebony in the ad. And these will be replaced. I saw a neat little video. They have little rollers, so I'm gonna uh, remove those. Not like that's going to help my playing and all, but check this out. Nice. Yep. Definitely smells like the uh, finish is still drying or curing, which is all right. I've been this one I bought was uh, the same way. It had a really powerful um, smell to it. And so far, the finish on this one on the front is actually pretty nice. If I can stay out of the light for you. And of course, I got this one to match that one. So I figured what the hell. I didn't have a fender, so I figured I would try something. Well, I still don't have a fender, actually. <laughs> um, no, not too bad. It's not. And I don't know if anybody can tell. I don't know if that's that looks like a three-piece. Um, I see stripes going this way. They keep going. I don't know if that's part of the curing or something, or if I actually got one with 
two pieces. If anybody wants to chime in when they see this and let me know how many they count, that'd be great. Let's see. That doesn't say anything. Doesn't matter. Random numbers. Maybe they're lottery numbers because they're not tender serial numbers. Think we all know that. mystery cover to it. All right. So far so good. I like the way this looks. And I think with this one, this is probably going to be my playing guitar that uh, I totally butcher all the songs I don't know how to play yet. But uh, I really like that. I'm not really into the the sunburst finish and everything that uh, everybody seems to like. That's okay, but um, I wanted to try something just a little bit different. I'm probably going to change change these out. Not like it's going to make me sound any better, but um, I want to play with this, and um, I've heard some people say they get hums on some of theirs, and I'll probably do some shielding or something like that as well. But uh, I love the black hardware. I actually had seen this, and I'll try to put on the, the link where I got it from. Uh, this is actually their first guitar I think they've sold. I took a chance. I didn't see any feedback, but I figured, you know, if worse came to worse, I could, you know, get a discount or something like that. You know, it's you can only expect a certain level of quality anyway, but honestly, I, you know, for what this is, I'm actually pretty impressed. Nice mess there. With the Ibanez, I got a discount because on this, there's actually what appears to be a fingerprint, a blood red fingerprint on the uh, guitar. I don't care. I think that's kind of cool. But uh, that one actually was pretty nice as well. I really like that one. I'm sure it's going to sound nice when I figure out how to play the damn thing. But uh, I didn't get a case for this. The uh, case that I had for the Ibanez was another really interesting one. It's not from this seller, but from a different one. They actually forgot the E in Prestige, so I own a Prestig. That's actually a very rare knockoff. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I have to admit, this is pretty badass looking. Um, if my amp was all set up, I would plug it in just to just to fiddle with it and embarrass myself a little more. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps anybody. I'll, like I said, I'll try to put a link in there to the buyer right at the moment. Um, oh, there we go. It's actually more in tune than I thought. Like I said, I'm going to try to do a little setup on this, get this sounding nice, but so far... I have to admit, I'm pretty dang impressed with this. It may not sound good for a while because I suck, but it's going to look freaking pretty kick-ass hanging on the wall, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm out.